St. Patrick's Days in Warsaw 2007. March 16, 2007 was the day when it happened, the second edition of event St. Patrick's Days. This year all the fans of Ireland were gathered in the chambers of Warsaw School of Information Technology. There was a charming feeling of joy during the event, thanks to participants and wonderful speakers who told about Ireland with great engagement and sense of humor. It was 15th of March, the day before the event. The guests from Ireland arrived at Warsaw Airport. They were a delegation of International Police Association invited by a vice president of Polish section of IPA Arkadiusz Skrzypczak, prorector of Warsaw School of Information Technology Professor Maciej Krawczak acted as a host. Either apart or together, the ladies conducting the event, Katarzyna Błędowska and Krystyna Lubinska, were full of good humor and always ready to create a joyful atmosphere. Maria Lewandowska was speaking about a person of St. Patrick. A life of Ireland patron was full of dramatic events, but these events were not an ultimate tool shaping life of St. Patrick. This tool is, was a love of God and of love of the Irish. After an introduction into Irish subject matter, there was a time for the guests to lead the show. Vice President of IPA Irish Section, Mr. Dennis Dune, spoke about IPA, its job and a role it was playing for its members. After Mr. Dune, there was a speech by Mr. Declan O'Byrne, who presented short story about everyday life of an Irish policeman. A subject of police was continued by Vice President of IPA Police Section Arkadiusz Skrzypczak. He spoke about job of the police section of IPA. Director of the St. Patrick's Days event, Andrzej Mańka, presented a movie from St. Patrick's Days, March 2006 in Lublin, Warsaw and Krakow, from the first edition of the event. Monika Andrzejewska spoke about a work in Ireland and Beata Suchodolska spoke about business and economy of Ireland. The event of St. Patrick's Day 2007 was slowly ending. Participants listened to Dorota Urbanowska's speech about agriculture and tourism in Ireland. When we saw charming green fields left untouched by farming, we got into a very nice feeling. This presentation was especially great for showing why it is so easy to fall in love with Ireland and why everyone should go there even once in a lifetime or stay in Ireland forever. For more information visit www.stpatricksdays.pl and Wiley O'Hagan's St. Patrick's Days Film Festival 2008 in YouTube.